What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scan documents to PDF with your iPad Pro M4. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and also hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want an epic custom phone case like these for your phone, there's going to be a link down below in the description. All right, with that said, let's jump right in. So I'm going to show you the easiest and my favorite way to scan documents to PDF, either single page documents or multiple page documents. So the standard way you can scan documents with Apple devices is you can go to the notepad. Here in notepad, you can select the three dots up here and it'll give you this camera and you can select to scan document. Okay, so that's one of the ways you can do it and it'll bring up this scanner. Okay, and it'll automatically scan documents for you. The other way you could do it is you can go to the camera and when you focus in on a page, it will automatically give you this option right here to scan documents. Okay, and it will do the same thing. It will start scanning documents. Okay, so that is the basic way to scan documents on iPhones or iPads. However, it's not convenient to scan to PDF. So yes, you can scan pages. Okay, but when you save them, they will just save here in notes, but not as a PDF file where you can easily email it to anyone and they will be uh, separate pages. So I'm going to show you how you can do that very easily. And it's actually with this app that I've been using for a very long time, for about 10 to 15 years. It's called Cam Scanner. It's free. They do have a, a paid features but uh, you can just use the free version and I've been using it for years and it works perfect for what I need it to do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use it. So I'm going to set it up here for you so you can also follow along and set it up as well. Here you can select allow or don't allow. It doesn't really matter. And here we are. Uh, it was easy as that. Super quick to set it up. Once you're ready to scan documents, you hit the plus here. You have to allow it to access your camera to be able to take the pictures. I'm going to hit skip. So here's the cool thing about this. You can select to either scan single page files or multiple pages. So I'm going to select multiple pages in case you need to scan multiple pages to save to PDF. You can also expand the screen down here to make it look bigger or smaller. And I'm gonna select multiple. And then once you're ready and you have the edges perfectly aligned with the document, you can go ahead and hit the button right here and it will take the picture. Uh, we can go ahead and flip the page and let's scan the next document. Okay, let's keep going since it is multiple pages. And there we go. You could do this for as many pages as you need. I'm just doing it for a few pages for the purpose of the video. Once you have scanned all your pages, you can go ahead here and select uh, done. And now it's going to automatically analyze all of the scanned pictures. Just, uh, just make sure that they are all cropped properly, that you like them. And if it looks good, then you are ready to go. All you have to do now is select share. And then here you can select share as a PDF. So super fast, share as a PDF. Here, there's many ways that you can share it. You can airdrop it to another device. You can send it as a message. You can email it to someone or to yourself. If you want to save it as a PDF, you can also send it directly to print if you have a wireless printer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just email it to myself here. So I'm going to go ahead and send it to my Gmail. And then once you type in the email you want to send it to, go ahead and hit send. And as you can see, an email just came in right now. Uh, so let's go into my Gmail here. And as you can see, it is the first email up here at the top. Let's go ahead and open it up and open the PDF file. So as you can see, here we have it, the scan as a PDF. All right, super fast, super quick and free to scan single pages or multiple pages into PDF on your Apple iPad Pro M4. All right, everyone, so that is how you do it. Go ahead and hit that like button. If this video helped you out, comment down below and let me know. And that's all for this video. Catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.